Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, and today's video is called There's No Better Time to Switch to VOIP Than Now. Again, right here, right now, at the time of this video, and honestly, we think for the foreseeable future, there is no better time for you to switch whatever your current business phone system or communications is in your business to voice over IP than now. So really quickly, I'm going to go into about six bullet points of why specifically there's no better time to switch and what the specific benefits are directly for you and your business. So let's jump right into this. So number one, it's no secret to anyone right now because of the pandemic, because of social distancing, because of you know various state sanctions, which while that is starting to recover and things are starting to open back up, regardless, two things have happened. Number one, businesses have been in some way, shape, or form forced to send their workers home or to find ways for them to work remotely or social distance while still being productive. Number two, Businesses, and I hear this all day long, you guys, for those of you who you know may not know and who are new to the channel, I work with hundreds of businesses on a regular basis throughout the year, helping them find the right phone system solution, you know, whether that be service, phones, accessories, whatever it may be. One of the biggest things that I've been hearing is that people are finding that their employees want to work from home. And then I've also talked to many employers that are finding that their employees like the idea of working from home, not just during the pandemic and during the current events, but indefinitely. They're finding that working from home is more convenient, more comfortable for them, and for a lot of people, more healthy. So into that point, number one that I want to get into here, how does voiceover IP enable you to do that? It enables you to do it in the ways that I'm going to list right now that are not typically available with old analog phones or outdated phone systems or whatever that may be. Number one, mobile apps. Mobile app, for those of you who may or may not know, is basically a virtual phone system or virtual extension on your cell phone that allows for you or your staff to be able to make and receive calls on behalf of the business without ever giving out their personal cell phone number. Uh, they can also send and receive text messages and they also mask their information as well as keep your business's information such as text messages, voicemails, call logs, whatever that may be, segregated inside of the mobile app, which is under your business's control. And again, it's separate from their personal stuff like calls from their kids or their spouses or their mom or whatever it may be. It's a way for them to work away from the office with the appearance of always looking like they're in the office and while maintaining the security of that data for your business. The second part of uh, this point number one, empowering people to work remotely, is desktop app. Desktop app is basically, you know, any good voice over IP service provider at the time of this video includes mobile app and desktop apps for free. Desktop app is basically a big, giant version of the mobile app, which can be used on a person's laptop or, you know, desktop computer. Um, typically they would use some sort of like a call center style grade headset with it. And I mean, I've talked to lots of people that use like regular headphones or use their, you know, Apple AirPods or something like that, um, to, to be able to make and receive calls on behalf of the, of the business from the desktop app. In short, mobile app and desktop app both allow you and your staff to work remotely with the appearance of always being in the office, maintaining that data within a secure platform that is protected and or owned or operated by your company. This can only be achieved through voice over IP phone systems. The technology more or less doesn't exist with older systems like analog phone lines and old traditional PBXs. It does exist in some forms with hybrid phone systems, but it's usually done in a not very efficient and very expensively you know, over the top expensive manner in comparison to cloud-based phone systems or voice over IP, which is the purpose of this video. So second thing, virtual meetings. At the time of this video, and this is the second point for bullet point number one, empowering you and your staff to work from home. One of the reasons why you need to be using VoIP right now, voice over IP. Any good reputable carrier at the time of this video typically includes virtual meetings as part of their platform. For example, Vonage Business includes Vonage Meetings. 
Ring Central includes Ring Central meetings. Nextiva includes Amazon Chime. Uh, who else? Uh, I want to see what other one. I'm missing one here. I'm missing another really popular one. Uh, Jive includes GoToMeeting because they're owned by GoToMeeting, which is part of their parent company. The list goes on and on and on. At the time of this video, it's no secret to anyone, virtual meetings, the ability to be able to meet with people through video or meet with groups of people through video, otherwise what we call telemeetings, it's big. It's huge. Zoom is another one that I left out, by the way. Zoom Phone, which is another VOIP platform that we work with and uh, support you know, and recommend to people. They include Zoom, obviously, is part of the Zoom Phone platform. So again, you know, if in this day and age, when things turn back to normal, if you're looking at meeting with people, virtual meetings is a very powerful tool these days. It's always been around. It's nothing new, but people are finally now seeing the value in things like virtual meetings in just about all industries because of recent events. Um, last but not least on this bullet point number one, the ability to use hardware phones remotely from anywhere where internet is available. So for those of you who may or may not know, a voice over IP phone with a true SIP based VoIP platform as we call it, or a cloud based phone system, like the phone that you see behind me here, both of these actually, it isn't dependent on wires in the wall per se or on a single infrastructure in a building. Quite literally put, I can pick up both of those phones you see on my desk right there. I can pack them up, get on a plane, go to anywhere in the world, any city, state, you know, uh, municipality or country, and I can plug it into internet and it will still be able to dial locally without incurring any long distance charges back to anybody in my home country or, you know, within my client list or whatever. Voice over IP, plainly put, like I like to say to clients over the phone when consulting them or in my videos, it literally doesn't care about your demographic location anywhere, uh, about your geographic location anywhere in the world. So unlike older PBXs, voice over IP can be used anywhere where you can find the internet and you still will maintain the appearance of calling from the city or locale that your business normally operates out of. And you can also receive calls from people without them or you recurring any long distance charges. They wouldn't even know that you've moved to another city, state, locale, or country. Let's see here. Okay, point number two. Right now with everything going on, voice over IP will typically save you somewhere in the ballpark of about 30 to 60%. So what does that mean? For those of you who aren't using voice over IP right now, I can honestly tell you from experience from working with hundreds of different businesses that I have personally consulted with to switch from some outdated system or some archaic thing or something that was just under serving them to voice over IP, you will typically always save money over whatever your current phone bill is with your outdated phone system or with plain Jane analog phone lines, what we also refer to as POTS, uh, POTS service. Typically, 30 to 60%. I've even seen people save as high as 70 to 85% that I've worked with and sometimes even 100%. But typically the rule of thumb is you're usually going to save no less, you know, you're usually going to save no less than about 30%, but I've seen people save much higher. Let's see here. Point number three, right now at the time of this video, because of the pandemic, because the whole world is in need of needing to basically work from home, you know, change the way that they do business and empower their, their workforce to basically be mobile. We are seeing reduced rates with all carriers. So from the sheer price standpoint, there is no better time to get better deals from the carriers than now. Not only have I, have I seen different carriers offering unbelievable prices against their web pricing that they've never offered ever before. I'm seeing them even give away hardware like phones for every one of your staff members for their desk at the office or for their home office for free. Where they're not giving it away for free, they're giving it away for reduced prices. And in some cases, you're getting rebates where by the time you get your instant, re your, your mail-in rebates or whatever back, the phones are free. So in short, right now, I can honestly say for being in this business for years, for decades, there is no better pricing in the market on hardware and on service 
than ever before because of just everything that's happening in current events in the United States and globally. In short, people more than ever need the ability to work remotely or have a system that allows them to work from home or empower their workforce to work from home or work mobily with the appearance of still being in the office and being interconnected with the team. So they're basically, I guess you could say, more or less giving away the farm to get new business, but also help people get on a platform that is more suitable with the times currently. Point number four, free phone hardware with new contract agreements. I kind of already touched on this in point number three, but we're going to talk about it again. In short, most of the carriers are basically giving away phones or giving you phones at severely reduced prices just to get you on their service. Now, as I like to say in a lot of my videos, keep in mind, the carriers are not in the business. The voice over IP service providers like Vonage Business, Nextiva, Ring Central, OnSIP, uh, who else? Zoom Phone, all of those guys. They're not in business to sell hardware. That's what the guys out there like VOIP Supply and you know Amazon and all of those places like that, they're out there to sell hardware. The service providers are in the game to sell service. So they look at it like this. If you're on an old phone system, the phones that you have aren't compatible with anything that's new anyways. For some people, especially those of you who may be watching that have got you know, 20 phones, 50 phones, 150 phones, 198, 500 phones, or staff members, they know that that is potentially thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars for you. So they understand that that is a large undertaking, especially right now with everything that's going on and the economy is not doing so great. They understand that that's a large undertaking for somebody to bring on just to adopt a new service. So they've come up with creative ways, whether it be just them eating it and paying for the, for the hardware up front and getting you on an agreement because they know they'll make the money back in the service later, or them dealing, doing instant rebates with the carriers or whatever it may be to basically you know, cover the cost of the hardware. They understand that if they dangle in front of you, hey, also to get you on our service, we're going to make this really super easy for you to where you don't have any upfront costs essentially. They understand that if they can find a way to make that cost non-existent or at the very least as reduced as possible, they understand that that is an easier way to get you to adopt their service if you have little to no upfront cost to switch to a better phone service than what you're currently using. So in short, before we move from this point, uh, this uh, bullet point, most of the voiceover IP service providers at the time of this video and more or less since I've been doing this uh, for, for years, they will usually try to work out a way where they can give you the hardware for free or get it to you at reduced rates. And that's because, like I say in a lot of my videos, they are not in the business of making money off hardware. They're in the business of making money off of their service. They want you on their service. They could care less if you get your hardware from a third party or what. They're just looking at it like, how can we keep their upfront cost as low as possible to make the switch to our service as financially feasible for them as you know we can without completely shooting ourselves in the foot. So, okay, point number five. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see what this one is. I actually forgot what this one is, so let me check my notes here. Okay, point number five, free trials. Now, not every carrier does this, but I've seen more and more carriers who in the past did not offer programs like this do this, what we're going to discuss in point number five. In short, point number five is a lot of the carriers are offering free trials to try to get people onto their service. Two reasons. They know that a lot of people want to try before they buy or before they sign the dotted line or sign an agreement, whether it be a 12-month, 24-month, 36-month. The other thing is, is a lot of the carriers that I work with, they feel pretty confident that once you see their service, once you see the tools, the features, the function, the new advancements in the technology that their service offers, and you actually experience what it's like to be able to empower your staff to do things like virtual meetings from home, you know, or just have a better phone system in general, they feel pretty confident that you're not going to cancel or that you're not going to go shop elsewhere. So a lot of the carriers that I work with, I've noticed lately, more and more of them are offering anywhere from 30 days to as high as 90 day trial periods, no strings attached, for you to be able to get set up, 
try the service and see if you like it. And then if you don't like it for whatever reason, they let you out with no strings attached. So that's another reason why if you're on an old phone system and you're watching this, the question is, why are you still using an old, you know, crusty, outdated phone system that, you know, it doesn't even have half of the features that most of these newer phone systems include at no extra cost, but it also more importantly has more or less no features that empower you or your staff to be able to work remotely from home or from anywhere with the appearance of still being in the office. Let's see here. Point number six, last but not least, and I've mentioned this in a video which I will tag above or tag somewhere in this video, analog phone service is going out of style. I mentioned this in a previous video, but plainly put, the service providers, some of the big dogs like Comcast, Verizon, Windstream, all those guys, they know that voice over IP is, has become the standard. It was becoming the standard even before the pandemic. So now the pandemic has just accelerated things and voice over IP at this point in time and space of this video, it is the standard. So that being said, they are actually spending more money than what they are making to maintain old analog lines like analog dial tone lines, analog fax lines, things like that. We're even seeing people switch their alarm lines and elevator lines to voice over IP because POTS, also, you know, what, what is also known as analog phone lines, is going out of style. So if you're watching this video, point number six, which is my final point, the reason you should be looking to switch to voice over IP, if all of the first five things that I've already told you wasn't enough to convince you is, eventually voice over IP is going to be the standard. Analog phone lines are going bye-bye. And again, I'll tag that video um, so you guys can watch that video where I explain more of the bureaucratic things that have happened in recent years surrounding why analog phone lines, i.e. POTS service, is going to be going away. But that's one of the big reasons why you really need to be looking to make the leap to voice over IP. So anyways, in short, if you're watching this video, there really is no better time for you to switch to voice over IP than now. Um, that is what I do all day long. I represent all voice over IP service providers as well as internet providers in the United States. I can get you better pricing than if, if you shop the service providers directly. So come to me first if you're interested in you know, shopping carriers. I do this all day long for different industries and different businesses of all shapes and sizes. So if we chat for a little bit on the phone and I find out a little bit more about your business, a little bit more about what you currently have and what you'd like to have, what functions and features you need, I can definitely match you up with the right service provider for the right price. So anyways, if you found this video helpful, please like this video and hit that, notifica uh, that notification bell. Please subscribe to our channel to support us as well. Prince Rich, your go-to guy for the best deals on business phone and internet service in the United States. I'll talk to you guys again in the next video.